What's going on guys, Killer6 and I'm finally back with another unique items guide in Borderlands the pre-sequel. I apologize for the lack of these videos lately and I will be doing more soon. So with that said, this is episode 8 of my unique items guide in Borderlands the pre-sequel and today we are looking at the old painful assault rifle. Now the version I have is the ferocious, but it also spawns with a variety of prefixes, each with its own different attributes that will either increase or decrease the following stats. Now at level 60 the stats on mine break down like this. 3,903 base damage, 87.9% accuracy, 13.4 fire rate, 2.7 reload speed, a mag size of 78, and this bad boy always spawns with the fire element. Now the red text says, come on in, old painful is waiting, which is a reference to Jesse Ventura's character, and more specifically his gun, Old Painless, from the movie Predator. Now the old painful can only be obtained during the Christmas event that lasts until January 5th, so get it now or possibly miss out forever. Normally these items do make a return via shift codes at a later date though. To get the old painful you'll need to defeat Odd Jurymer in Serenity's Waste during the Christmas Celebration event. Odd Jurymer spawns in place of Irajira and there are several effective methods to kill him, but my preferred strategy is to strafe and use the E-Gun, a Jacob Squad, and or a good Vladov non-elemental handgun such as the TMP or Anarchist. The old painful is a Vladoff weapon and as such it has a very good fire rate. The gun also has a noticeable effect of firing lasers at the cost of assault rifle ammo. As I stated earlier it will always be fire elemental which can be a bit of a deterrent but I've found that the gun works well in a variety of situations. On a side note for this gun as you're firing it it plays sort of an ice cream man song identical to that of the ice cream Vladoff assault rifle making this gun feel like a cheap reskin with a elemental change. So my verdict on this gun, it's pretty good, but it is outclassed by several other assault rifles. It's definitely worth trying out, however, to see if it does fit your playstyle. If nothing else, the uh, Jury Mer fight will give you something to do on the pre-sequel while we wait for fixes or other additional DLC from Gearbox. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please take a second to click that like button and hit subscribe for more unique and legendary item reviews. Post suggestions in the comments below for other items you'd like for me to cover. Thanks for watching and take care.